guys, welcome back. Hey, we got the truck cleaned up today, so I figured it'd be a good time to uh, shoot a quick video. And today we're gonna throw these uh, lighting pods into the footwells in the driver's and passenger side on the truck. I don't know if you remember when I was uh, showing off some of the lace fit floor mats a while back, um, I commented about how that light under there is incandescent. It's not real bright. While I'm under here, I just noticed this light the other day. That's kind of nifty. I kind of wish that shed a little bit more light, but anyway. Well, today we're going to take care of that. If your truck's like mine, uh, it's got the level two equipment package. So most everything is already LED. Um, dome light, map lights. About the only thing I can find that's not really LED are these little lights here in the vanity which I don't know I don't really use those a whole lot and underneath here there is a light um, that is not LED so this is the light we're gonna swap out today and if your trucks like mine again um, I believe it's the level 2 and it already has mostly LEDs this is about the only one that's going to make a big difference for you. So, we're going to go ahead and do it. I think this might be a one beer job. So, go ahead and crack one of these brew dogs. Um, nice brewery right here in Ohio. For any kids that are watching the video, one beer, not driving. So, when you're an adult, you turn 21. You can enjoy such privileges. This just kind of spins freely on here, so I'm not quite sure. Okay, it just pulls right off. That's probably going to be hot, but oh boy. Yep. Um, my fingers are just slipping right off of it. I found the best thing to do is use these needle nose. Uh, lock pliers. Try not to break the bulb. I've done that before. It's kind of a pain in the neck to get it out. So simple as pie. There you go. So needle nose lock pliers for the win. Put them on that bulb until it's nice and kind of snug. Tighten it down there a little bit and just pull it right out. Now with the new ones, um, they say you can touch LED with your hands, but I'm just gonna, out of precaution, use some gloves. LEDs won't work if you put them in the wrong way, so we're just gonna try to get them in the right way and see what the difference is. So there it is in. It's a nice, cool white light. I believe it's much brighter than, than the uh, incandescent. But what we're going to do is we're going to let it get dark and we're going to try, we're going to go ahead and look at both of them uh, side by side. I haven't done the other side yet. I'm going to leave it so we can kind of see what the difference is. So here we are. It's not 100% dark, but um, I think it's dark enough to see the difference here between the lace fit uh, LED footwell bulbs and the factory incandescents. So let's take a look here. We're on the driver's side. We're just going to pop the door open. And you're going to see the footwell nice and lit up. Um, it's got that cool white look. You can kind of see it there in the context of the rest of the lighting in the vehicle. Now let's go ahead and check out the passenger side. And there's the passenger side which is still the factory incandescent. So as you can see under there, still got that bad boy burning. Really not giving you a whole lot of light. Uh, right now, most of the light's coming from our dome lights. There you go. Nice and lit. Speaking of nice and lit, Let's check out our, um, it's been a while since we've done any decent footage on our 
bed lighting. That is nice and bright. If you missed that video, make sure you check it out. It's basically me just yelling at you, telling you to get off your butt and solder something together.